nature of your emergency. So Max is, he's very confident, he's kind-hearted, and he's very intuitive. After critical stress calls, when uh, paramedics come back for peer support, Max is brought back. We're trying to keep paramedics from, uh, one, getting occupational health injuries or PTSD, this program with our peer support. And we're trying to just prevent paramedics from really leaving the workforce. Once you leave, you, you can end up getting isolated, which doesn't help. So that's really what, he's, what he does. As paramedics, every day is different. Every, every medic will tell you that. We see a lot of stressful things. You're trying to manage the scene with a mom who's screaming at you or trying to grab the baby out of your arms or you know, a mom and dad who are fighting. And, and then you might leave that call and go to a car accident where somebody's dead and you are trying to actively revive them beside a family member who's very aware of what's going on. And I mean, that isn't our typical day, but it's all possible. You do have those wild days where you're just like, wow, I can't believe my day. You can come in after a day and you're super frustrated, you're angry about how your day's gone, you just want to go home. And you walk in and there's Max and he's super playful and he'll run and grab your stuff out of your hands and take off on it. And you just end up staying a few extra minutes, petting him, playing, and you just go home in a different mood. I think the biggest impact he's had is he's made us more social with each other. Not that we weren't before, but we're more now when he's, he's around. When I picked up um, Max, um, Max Keeping was in his final stages of cancer. He was um, told that he was terminal. Um, he's a family friend of ours. He would write an email like, hey, would you like to go to a Sens game or could we eat for dinner? And then at the end, he would always put in quotations, live life to the max. So when I, I got Max, it was just, it, there wasn't a discussion. His name was gonna be Max. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I had Max and he had this little purple dinosaur because he loves stuffed animals. And I just threw the dinosaur and I let him off his leash and I was like, guys, I have paperwork to do, but Max is here, you know, you can play with him. And I went and got Max a water bowl and put a water bowl down. And then I gave them like a little bag of treats. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go do my paperwork and I'll come see you. And when I came back, they were like, just smiling and so happy. They were taking selfies with him. <laughs> and they were on the floor with him. And it was just like all of that work in one year yeah, and I, I wasn't expecting that either like you don't know what the outcome is going to be after your work but just to see the reaction it's really sad to think of your your fellow co-workers who you come in and uh, you know you work with every day and you go to similar calls with uh, every day and you never know what you're going into and it's really scary to think that you could ha be living a very happy life and stable life and in one day one call that all goes out the window. I think my proudest thing about this whole program is other people around North America are now doing it. So we've had, you know, up, up there probably around 75 to 100 inquiries about the program. My service has said, share your materials. So we're giving them everything that we have and other services are now doing it. Now it's just trying to get rid of the stigma and, and you know, telling paramedics, don't, don't tough it out. Go talk to someone and, and get that help. What he does is he makes people laugh and smile because he's fun. <laughs> I'll go and take your mitts out of your bag. And we have paramedics that bring him snacks every day. And he waits and he knows who they are. And as soon as he sees them, he runs up and sits. And I think the paramedics just really enjoy watching everyone else interact too. It's not just about an individual, but you see a team. I think he just really de-stresses. 
he stresses a room when he enters it. And it kind of makes it a, a happier place to be. Not that it's really unhappy, but just this added, you know, trusting, awesome, fluffy, great dog. We're, we all love him. He's our family now. And I, well, you see how he reacts in the building. This is Max's second home. He's always happy to, always happy to come.